Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your performance on your PC on CS2. I hope this guide helps you out because I'm going to be walking through the best settings to optimize your windows and your game as well. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and the very first step that you have to do is head over to the personalization section and right over here click on colors. In this you'll find something called transparency effects and if that is turned on you wanna have to turn this thing off. Once that is done, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off as well. Game bar turned off will help you to optimize your PC's performance by reducing the overlay application running constantly. You do not use that frequently so I would recommend you guys to keep it off after that go back to gaming over to game mode and turn this thing on game mode turned on will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your pc's performance and gaming performance as well after that click on the graphic settings right beneath and right over here you'll find optimizations for windowed games you wanna have to turn this thing on because it will help you to reduce input latency then click on advanced graphic settings and then enable hardware accepted gp scheduling in most cases i have found performance boost using this setting so I would recommend you guys to turn it on. After that, in this custom application list, you wanna have to click on add a desktop app. Over here, you wanna have to go over to the download location of your CS2, click on the game folder and then bin. Win64 and you'll find in cs2.exe. You wanna have to click on the add button over here and if that is already added, scroll down to find that application. Click on that and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. This will utilize your graphic card and disable power saving features on your PC to optimize the performance. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, latency, packet loss and ping issues using no ping and you guys can download it for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this where you can simply search for cs2 over here simply select the game and then click on choose manual server click on the server nearest to you with the lowest amount of ping and then simply click on optimize this game it will help you to reduce your ping drastically and improve your fps as well no ping acts as a tunnel to connect your internet straight from your pc to the game servers without any hindrance allowing you to fix most of your packet loss and ping issues drastically i personally use it myself and i have seen amazing benefits out of this application and i would recommend you guys to go check out no ping for free for seven days from the link in the description below step number two is compatibility settings and for that you have to open up your file explorer and then go to the download location of your game open up the game folder bin win64 and you'll find in cs2.exe right click on the exe file head over to its properties then head over to the compatibility tab and click on disable full screen optimizations then click on change high dpi settings and then select override high dpi scaling behavior on ok click on apply and then click on ok this step will help you to fix your input latency next step is disabling background applications on your pc and for that you have to search for group policy editor this step will only be available for windows pro users so click on edit group policy and over here you have to head over to computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background you have to double click to open this property up and then click on enable to make sure that this policy is enforced after that you have to click on default for all applications and set this thing to force deny this is the property of your policy this will help you to disable all kind of applications running in the background helping you to improve your pc's performance once that is done simply close your local group policy editor next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and right over here find your local disk c click on the create button and name it cs2 just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done click on the close button and then close system properties next step is cs2 optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below this pack will help you to optimize the core settings of your pc to optimize the performance over here you'll find in five simple folders let us start with the first one that is the cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu priority if you have any amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority 
And if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Both of these priorities will help you to optimize the correct D word value for your processor to improve its power saving state and the performance. Next one is the RAM optimization in this folder where I have left the same thing but will help you to optimize your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry for my PC. It could be different for you so I can apply it from the preset list I have already given over here. Once again, to apply it, you can simply double click on it and if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can reset it back to T default from this registry. Third folder over here is the CS2 priority in which I have left these three priority files for which you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one will help you to fix your input latency and over here I have left keyboard latency fix for which you have to apply. I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments as well and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose for your keyboard right over here. For the mouse latency registries you have to find the fix mouse curve registry and this will help you to set up the correct mouse curve and the sensitivity for your mouse. This will make your mouse movements more accurate and to apply it you can double click on it to run it. Last and not the least is the programs folder in which I have left these two programs which are super beneficial for your game. First one is clean temporary files dot battery one I have to right click on it as administrator. Once it opens up it asks you a simple dialogue to press any key to continue. Once you press any key on your keyboard it will start deleting all temporary files from your prefetch which is actually a really good thing. These are all temporary files which needs to be cleared every now and then. Simply close it and the next one is quick CPU which you have to install on your PC and after that open this application up as an administrator. Once quick CPU opens up it should look like this and over here you'll find a lot of complicated settings but don't worry I'm gonna be guiding you through it. First thing over here is your power plan which you have to set to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available on your PC and do not forget to click set as active. After that you wanna have to go down and you'll find something called core parking index, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance. You wanna have to slide all these things up to 100% and then click on the apply button. Click on OK. Once all of that is done, you can simply close this software and close your FPS back as well. Next step is deanimating windows and this step will help you to optimize the performance of your windows. And for that, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and this performance option will open right in front of you. Under the visual effects section, click on the custom button and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of these options will help you to keep the native look of your windows intact while disabling all unnecessary animations which are utilizing your system's performance. This will help you to improve the performance of your windows in general and help you to improve the performance of your game as well. After that click on the OK button and that should be it. Okay once you're in the game head over to the settings menu and then come over to the video settings. Right over here select your monitor, your display mode, it should be set to full screen, aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio, your native resolution and refresh it. Select the highest available for your monitor. After that head down to the advanced video settings and right over here boost player contrast should be turned on, vsync should be disabled, nvidia reflex low latency enabled plus boost, maximum fps in game I have set this thing to 400 but actually the maximum fps in the game should be set to 3 fps lower than your monitor's refresh rate. I have a 240hz monitor so this value should be 237. Maximum fps in menu should be set to 60. Then for the presets what you have to do is set the multi sampling anti aliasing mode to 2x msaa. Dynamic shadows should be set to all. For model and texture detail go with medium, texture filtering mode go with anisotropic 16x, shader detail low, particle detail medium, ambient occlusion should be set to disabled, HDR should be set to performance and fidelity FX super resolution I have set this into quality but if you guys are still facing performance issues you guys can go down to balanced or performance. My PC allows a disabled as well so I would set it on this one. Once all of that is done press your escape key and now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video I hope I could have helped you. Out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you all. We have to reach this goal as soon as possible. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.